Hey guys, I just got back from Japan and I'm gonna do a little snack haul and taste test. Hey Callie. And Callie is gonna enjoy too, right? But you can't have the snacks. You can smell them. Oh, good girl. Let's get started. These are all the snacks I got. Let's go through them. You gonna help? Kelly's gonna help. You're so cute. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's try this Kit Kat sake. This was more expensive than other Kit Kat brands. I think it was $8 Canadian. Oh, I forgot my mic. Okay, let's, let's start over. Okay, got my mic on. The sake Kit Kat. Ooh, packaging. It's very pretty and classy. Whoa, smells like sake. Like there's a strong smell of sake. Oh, I already, already broke it in the packaging, but. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. Oh no, chocolate on the ground. I could see why this was more expensive. I'm sorry, you can't have chocolate. It's very clear that this is sake. Mm -hmm. Save this for later. Why am I nervous filming this? I'm not a huge fan of sake, but overall that was a really good imitation of sake. I would rate this a out of 10 because they did a really good job imitating sake and there's a strong scent and taste to it since we're already on kit kats let's try the milk tea kit kat this one was cheaper it was i think around five dollars canadian or four dollars am i still here Cute packaging. Inside, there are different colors, yellow, pink, uh, purple. And in one bag, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Kit Kats in total. Okay, let's try this. Why am I struggling? <laughs> Oh, it kind of melted. Oh, I'll have to clean this table later in case Kylie licks it. Milk tea Kit Kat. It doesn't smell like milk tea. You kind of taste the milk tea. I wouldn't say it's really strong. I would say you taste more of the white chocolate than the milk tea itself. You don't really taste the tea part. I feel like I'm eating like a fragrant flower. <laughs> I feel like this isn't milk tea. Not my favorite. I would give it a 4.8 out of 10. It doesn't really taste like milk tea. The tea flavor in it isn't really there. That's just my opinion. 
you could have different opinions to this. Okay. Next up, let's do these jellies. I've seen these all over TikTok, so I'm excited to try them. Whoa, there's already such a strong grape flavor smell. Whoa, they're so soft and squishy. They kind of look like dates. There it is. It's very squishy. I wasn't really expecting this really squishy texture. I was expecting more of a firm texture, like gummy bears. Okay. Okay, hopefully it doesn't slip again. I'm not a huge fan. To be honest, I thought there would be some type of grape liquid inside because that's what it kind of looks like. I thought it would like explode in my mouth. It imitates a grape very well. Overall, I'm not a huge fan. I don't know, but let's try the other grape flavor. Mm. Ooh, they're not green, but they're like a yellowish color. It does feel like I'm eating a grape, but I don't know, something feels a little bit off. Hmm. I would give it a 5.5 out of 10. My dad's doing work downstairs in the basement. <laughs> if you hear some drilling noise. I was so excited that I found Barley Pocky. So this is not Barley Pocky. I thought it was because of the plants in the picture. It's actually Tokyo Amazake Pocky, which is a sweet sake, which explains why I thought it tasted like sake. So it comes in individual sticks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting, you know, like the regular Pocky packaging with five or six sticks in it. <laughs> this is huge. Okay, let's try it. Whoa! It's so thick. There is 14 of these in, these, in this big box. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I ate the sake one first. It kind of reminds me of sake. Wait. I don't know if it truly does a good job in imitating barley, but it's there. It's there. I would give it a seven out of 10. Hmm. I'm not gonna eat all of it even though I want to because I don't know how much dairy is in this Pocky. My allergy is quite weird. I can't have a huge amount of dairy or I'll get an allergic reaction. And I can't have cheddar cheese, but I can have other types of cheese like mozzarella, I can have pizza. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Let's try this seaweed snack. This is a seaweed tempura snack. Squid and seaweed tempura snack. And I got this from 7-Eleven. I didn't try as many snacks in 7-Eleven because I felt like I was always full from eating out at restaurants. It looks very, very crispy.
Mmm. Wow. So much flavor. First bite, there is an explosion of flavor. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, okay. After finishing that one seaweed, it's really salty. First bite was really good though. Because of that, I would give this maybe... <laughs> I would give this a 4.5 out of 10. I do like the flavor in it, but the amount of salt in it is kind of overwhelming. Okay. I was so excited to buy these Fuji Matcha Strawberry Truffles. I told my parents to wait until I did the food haul to open it. <laughs> I feel bad, but later they could try it. The packaging is super, super cute. I'll give the packaging a 10 out of 10. Who, like, Canada could never. <laughs> oh, so there's instructions on how to eat it. So, so you have to sprinkle and shake the bag with the powder. Okay. I thought it already came with the powder on top. Oh, okay. So it comes like this. Ah. It's getting cold, so I'm gonna go get a sweater. <laughs> I'm back. I just had to search up the ingredients if I could eat it. <laughs> I'm excited. I have to sprinkle it and shake. Oh, it's like the shake fries at McDonald's in Asia. <gasps> so, it comes like this. This is matcha covered strawberries. And then, oh, I guess I just sprinkle more matcha on it okay. <gasps> okay sprinkle sprinkle waste no matcha i think i got all the matcha out ah okay there's more matcha <laughs> Now time to shake it. You just Okay. <laughs> Should be good. I just gave my dad one and he really liked it. My turn now. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is good. Mmm. Unfortunately, I will have to just eat half because I have cheese crackers and I don't know how much dairy I can have. I will have to eat this later. I want to eat it now, but my hands are green. I would rate that an 8.3 out of 10. <laughs> you can taste the dried strawberry inside. The matcha is very strong and everything about it was just really well done. I wish I could taste more of the strawberry though. I felt like I tasted more of the chocolate and matcha. That was still really good. I wish there was more in the bag though. Points off for that. It was $8 Canadian. Another matcha covered snack, these matcha almond chocolates. Christian had these and he said it was really good. So I'm excited.
Whoa, they're huge. There's actually a bunch in this bag. More than the strawberry ones, but I get it. Strawberries are expensive. Mmm. Whoa. Mm. These are so good. Mmm. You could really taste the matcha. It's a thick coating like the strawberry one. Which I wish I could have. I would give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Maybe a 9. Definitely recommend these snacks. I got them at the airport. They don't sell them at the donkey. <laughs> Did I say that right? Um, they don't sell them at the mega donkey. You can find these at, I think, some train stations or the airport. Okay, next up, these cheese crackers. I saw this on TikTok, it was recommended. Okay. The phone keeps slipping. Very nice and simple packaging. Comes in two boxes. And two flavors. Honey and gorgonzola and salt and camembert and each box has 10 pieces okay oh it's taped ah be right back let's start with the salt and camembert comes in a shiny silver packaging. Cheese in the middle. It's very hard. <laughs> it looks like a mini piece of toast. Okay. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. I could see the hype on this. <laughs> it's salty in the middle, and then the cracker itself is a bit sweet. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Mmm. I would rate it a 9.8 out of 10. Now this is the honey and gorgonzola. Man, I'm eating a lot of dairy. <laughs> Hope I'm okay later. Mm. It tastes quite similar to the other one, but you could taste the honey in it. Also a 9.8 out of 10. Very similar flavors though. Another TikTok snack I found were these banana snacks. Okay, I'll just rip the bottom.
finally got it open. It comes with eight banana filling inside. Whoa, it's so soft. It smells really good. Mmm. I wasn't expecting so much filling inside. Like first bite, it kind of explodes, but it's really good. It's not that sweet. I thought it would be really sweet. It was quite pricey. I think it was maybe 15 to 18 Canadian dollars. It was really good though, but for its price, Mm, I would rate it an 8 out of 10 because it surprised me. It is really good and it has a good amount of sweetness and I like how much filling there was, but for the price, it's not really worth it in my opinion. Another cheese snack. Also saw this on TikTok. Okay, I just went to the kitchen to cut the tape. How many are there? There are uh doesn't say or maybe I just can't find it. But there seems to be a lot in one box. This was this was the most expensive snack. It was I think 24 Canadian dollars. Hopefully it's worth it. So it's similar to the other cheese cracker, but it's in a circle shape. It tastes very similar to the other one. Mm. I would say it's a little more salty and more cheesy. But if you don't want to spend a lot more, just got the just got this one with the cow logo on it. In my opinion, not worth $24. Next, we have this lychee jelly. I love lychee, so I was really excited for this. Very squishy like the grape, but more firm. Mm -mm. That was the worst one. And that was more expensive than the grape one. There is more in the packaging. It kind of tastes like lychee, but you could tell it's very artificial. I mean, it's candy. Of course it's artificial, but there's like not enough of a lychee flavor to it. It's just super sweet and the outside of it, like the skin part of the jelly, just tastes like plastic to me. <laughs> I don't know, it just felt, it, it was just not it. I would give it like a two out of a time. This is my opinion, you might have a different opinion. But yeah, no. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> another Kit Kat matcha. I've already had Kit Kat matcha because they sell it here. It's just more expensive here. They actually had two types of matcha. There was a darker version and then a lighter version. I'm guessing that one was sweeter. It looks sweeter. Really good. Probably a 8.5 out of 10. Hmm. I feel like you can't really go wrong with matcha candy. Just my take. Another matcha snack are these matcha crepes. Apparently, so there's butter and matcha inside and then matcha cream on the outside. Do 
these were cheaper. I think these were three or four dollars. Oh. Oh. Mmm. I like this one. For something so cheap, this is probably the best snack for its price. It's not that sweet. There's a good amount of chocolate around it and a good solid crunch to it. I would rate it an 8 out of 10. A solid cheap snack. Lastly, I got matcha. I didn't get super expensive ones. I also got tea. The most expensive matcha I got was this. It was around $25 to $28. And then this one was around $10. And I forget how much this one was. It was definitely less than $20 though. But they only have just a small amount of matcha inside. I got tea. This is matcha and sencha. I've already tried this, I've opened it, and it's a really good tea. It's not a super strong tea, if that's what you're into. It has a subtle matcha and sencha taste. It's a light tea, not that bitter. I personally really like this. I haven't tried this one. I got this for my dad. I actually don't know what kind of tea this is, um, but I feel like he'll like any type of Asian tea. I haven't opened these matchas yet. They do expire quickly if opened. I have opened this one. It comes in a small little baggie. I got the one that's kind of bitter because the other one that's more sweet was sold out. But I drank this today and it was pretty good. I didn't make it as well as the matcha I had in Japan but this is quality matcha and I got this from, oh man, I forgot the name of the store, but it's gonna be right here. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe for more videos on Japan. Bye guys. Also, I just wanted to say that these are my personal ratings. Your opinion could be different. You might like the snacks better, you might not. Please take it with a grain of salt and yeah, see you guys next time.